Online Broadcast Network, After Buzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries, and your number one source for after show entertainment. <laughs> TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind-the-scenes exclusives. All thanks to E! Entertainment's Maria Menounos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! I like it. Hello. <laughs> she likes it. Hello, and welcome like to it. another edition of the Concert Experience. Hello. We, yes, we, we bring music into <laughs> your homes and your laptops and computers. I'm your host, James Law Jr., here at After Buzz TV. You can follow me on Twitter at Black Hope LA. That's B L A K H O P E L A. I couldn't get the C. It's my guy already. <laughs> Like yeah, too late. It's always you gotta snatch them up. That's why the Twitter handle was Meredith Turr, and then they're like, we could change it to Meredith O'Connor. I'm like, no, they already know it's Meredith yeah. Turr now, so you just leave it after. Me too. Stay at this point. I've had it like <laughs> nine years at this point, so I guess whenever Twitter started, so we got it. Yeah. And so my guest today, I am very honored to have her with me today. She's an amazing young singer from Long Island, New York. Love my New Yorkers, my mother's side of family. Represent. That's right. And she is also an anti-bullying advocate. We're going to talk about that also. Yeah. Uh, she came into prominence with her song "Celebrity," which we're going to show you a snippet of that a little later, and which had over two million views. Oh yeah, talking. that was probably a, more since probably more than that. Now. Back in the day. <laughs> yes, and that's big, that's a big deal. And her album is called "I Am Meredith O'Connor." Correct? Yes. Okay, very good. And it's out now. You can go on. I know it's on Amazon, iTunes. You can find it. It's out there. Meredith O'Connor. Well, thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here to talk just a little bit about the tour and yeah. the um, new song out with yes. um, the music video has Madeline Stewart in, who's someone I definitely um, love talking about. She's the first model with Down syndrome. Um, she was featured in the music video um, Stronger, which was kind of put together um, by Champions Against Bullying, my manager, Rick Galvin, and they came together and they're like, you know, we should put together a music video that has a message that goes along with what you're doing. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, that's a really, you know, I like that. So let's incorporate, and then Garrett Clayton, who's yeah. from um, Teen Beach Movie. Yeah, um, yeah, Teen Beach Movie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, no, but he's he's really, um, he's very talented, so it was so much fun having him on the song. And uh, we all kind of came together with this vision of, you know, let's make a song about overcoming challenges, which yeah. is pretty much, you know, I mean, you know, people know a lot about the anti-bullying advocacy I do, but a lot of times it's it's more than just that. It's also, you know, embracing who you are and just overcoming any kind of challenge, bullying. Or your inspiration. I mean, I just want to, when I was doing your research on it, I was like, okay, this girl. Oh, thank you. You, you give, because I'm an old person. <laughs> and you give uh, you give me a, a reason to think, okay, the next generation is going to be okay. They're going to be all right. Like it's going to be okay. People well, like you. A lot of, thank you so much. A lot of, um, I mean, I'm 19 now, but when I was 13, it was very scary for me because I, there were a lot of things that I wish I knew. Yeah. Um, the whole, you know, I experienced bullying. Um, I was different. And these were all things that made me, you know, kind of wish I was like everybody else. Yeah. And there, you know, I wanted to be, and I want to be, uh, I guess, you know, I'm, I want to continue to be the role model that um, I didn't have yeah. growing up. And it's well, I like that. <laughs> I like very that. important to me to never let down any, any fans. But um, the reason, that my slogan is you are not alone is because that's something that I felt when I was getting older uh, I mean when I was growing up and um, it's something that I didn't realize but we aren't you know we are we are not alone and it's a very important message yes okay so we're gonna show um, a snippet of the stronger video <laughs> and it's featuring Gary Clayton yes as long as I'm saying we're gonna it's a great song we're gonna have to play a little story for you so we're getting to the yeah, so this, this is good. This, I mean, this is such a great song oh, thank you. for this like time of the year. The so title, strong, and the voices. You guys' voices are great yeah, together. Thanks. I mean, I was theatrically trained, and I mean, he's he's just a really good singer. And, um, he's doing a lot of acting right now. But wow. Music is. I mean, singing is something that he's like. Yeah, he, you know, he knew the anti-bullying message yeah. and everything, so he's like, I, I can get on board with this. So the whole. Um, Totally forgot what I was say. Actually, we had, I could say this one back on the air. Yeah. Um, we had a lot of different people funding this and because of the uh, messages behind it. Yeah. And Project Walk was one of the Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Which I'll, I'll shout out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. This is great. This song is just so. Oh, we're good, doing the guys. videos right there. It's right there. I was yeah, like, you, you, you guys, you can hear it. See, theory, you can hear it. Um, but yeah, thanks. Um, I actually helped, uh, I, I came up with kind of the video concept for it. Um, wow. Basically, it was just really important to me. I, I was in Fashion Week, I could say this in the interview, but met, meeting Madeline was really funny because 
there was yeah. Drew Barrymore who was gonna sit next to me, but she showed up late. Wow. And uh, I was so, but then all of a sudden, this woman from Australia, I had no idea who she was, yeah. she was sitting next to me, and she starts talking about, you know, oh, my daughter's in the show, and then all of a sudden, Madeline opens wow. up. Fashion week. I'm like, we've got to get her in this music yeah. video. So that's good. So I mean, this you know, so I mean, so you like to be involved in kind of all parts of your image. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I definitely am and hands on. I mean, the people, my, you know, my producers and everybody um, over at the label, and especially my manager Rick Alvin has been super um, helpful with you know taking care of everything and, and yeah. making sure everything goes smoothly. But as far as the creative process and actually um, putting you know the foot to the metal, I really do believe that it's important to be as hands-on as possible, especially in the songwriting process. How would you describe your music to people who do not know your music? I would definitely say, well, you know, before I, I was signed, before anything happened with music or um, even modeling or anything like that, I was in theater. And okay, I was very okay. influenced by, you know, I was in community theater shows, off-Broadway okay. shows, and I loved Broadway. So I would have to say my music is a cross between uh, Queen, like Freddie Mercury, oh, like, yes, I, a that, little yes. bit of that. <laughs> love I Queen. love the key changes. I love, you know, I just oh, love the yeah. epic, you know, big sound of, of his music. Oh, very bombastic. Very, exactly. Yes, I, yeah. I really like a big sound, you know. Yeah, um, okay. So I'd have to say it's a cross between that and maybe um, just an overall Broadway pop sound. Yeah. Broadway sound mixed with pop. What musicals did you like? I... I have to say, Les Mis is a definitely okay. a good one. I played Cosette when I was eight years There's old. There's some key changes in there. Oh my gosh! Yes. <laughs> it's like it's it's a sad musical, but it's yeah. also like really good. And I don't know. It when I do concerts too, I like to you know my dancers are always they have crazy costumes, and so we always try to you know I'm very I am hands on in that aspect okay. as well because okay. I definitely want it to be an, a, a theatrical experience. Got it. Um, and it's it's just I mean the whole thing with with the, my music and everything has been a really crazy ride for me. Yeah. Um, seeing. All sorts of, I mean, my fans are so energetic, so it's always fun to, to meet different people. And so are you. Hello. <laughs> yeah. I thought I had energy. Well, I you have, have ADHD. Energy. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just... Might as well use it to your advantage, right? Yeah. There you go. It, you were, yeah, you use it to your advantage. Yes. Yeah, I love that. I love that. Okay, so your music is that, which I think is a great idea. I love, I love, my favorite musicals are Family of the Opera and... Oh my gosh, yeah, that's that's up there on the another list. Another one with key All I one. ask of you is, oh. is, I mean, forget about it. Yes. When that plays, I'm like, no more time. Like, get really into it. I'm you know what I'm talking say about. Say that again? Okay, no, sing, I was singing it again? No, <laughs> all right, we're going to have an, a fan of the opera jam. True <laughs> <laughs> yeah. of the Night, all, the, I mean, all those songs. I mean, just, oh I mean, my gosh, you, 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 you know your stuff. I do, I, I like musicals, so... I yes, I like hit, more. okay, perfect. We are, my, my earliest memory... When I was I was like two years old, yeah. was Jesus Christ Superstar the original mm. cast recording? Never saw that one actually. It's a great music. It's a great musical. Friend it was really in is. it though. And yeah, it's a great <laughs> musical, and it's just like it's just and it's so smart for. I mean, it's just, it's just and then Chorus Line was another one. And yeah, just, I mean things like that. But Family Opera, Les Mis, they're all just such. Beautiful. And Wicked was a good one. Uh, oh, yeah. I, but my friend Matt Schindeldecker is who plays Fiaro, and he was this, and he was here. Uh, in this contract and the one before, so if you guys ever are interested, go check it out. It's a great show. He did a duet with me because he was, um, we, you know, word got out that I'm really into the whole Broadway scene yeah, and yeah. everything. So I talked to my team and I was like, we got to get someone in from this. And that was, we sang actually Guardian Angel at um, oh, okay. a benefit yeah. for, for the a, show. Wicked, I love Wicked too. I've seen it three times. I mean, you know your stuff. You're, you're, I do. I've seen it three times. <laughs> well, three different productions. Uh, okay, so what is your what is your earliest musical memory? My earliest musical memory is probably... Um, man, that goes way back. I'd have to say probably seeing The Lion King when I was. Oh, there. how cute! It was. It so was you saw it show. was the movie or the stage production? The state, the Broadway show, yeah. or when I was, was a plant a leaf when I played the role of a plant leaf in my first community <laughs> production. <laughs> How do you play a leaf? Um, well, with a lot of choreography <laughs> and a lot of green clothes and um, a lot of static movement. <laughs> I, I could not make this up. This was a I role. That was my first role on stage. It was oh, a comedic it. role, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess in a way it was comedic. That is hilarious. I like that. It's hilarious. I didn't expect that answer. I like that one. Of um, but oh, Anderson yeah. PR has been has been great with you know when when we talked about um, we love the, them oh yeah no they're, they're they've been really fun to work with as far as um, they've been you know super helpful with the video stronger and yeah. talking about the message and everything and they've been really on board with it so that aspect of of my life right now with with music and everything is they're they're a welcome new addition to the team and it's always fun to like yeah. uh, meet new people and work with that yeah now you worked with Kenny Ortiz. Kenny Ortiz, yes. Who's, so how is like he's a Grammy award winning yes. producer. Kenny so. is amazing. He's super. He's super chill. He's really nice. And uh, whenever we go in the studio, he's always joking. He's very much like me. Okay. Um, where he's like super. Uh, <laughs> he's all over the place, yes. but it totally works to his benefit. Like when Organized he's focused, chaos. exactly when he's yep. focused, it's like okay, we're gonna you know, and he's and he's definitely um, 
and he has an East Coast and West Coast sound. So when oh, I, you know, okay. and, and as I mean, he's he is an, he is I guess a and ring me right now, um, but he's been really great with the production of the song. Okay. Um, he's put so much into the album, and um, just having him on our team has been really a blessing. And working with him is so much fun. I mean, it's 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 great to to learn from somebody who's worked with so many amazing people and uh, I, he has some crazy stories that are okay, he's worked with like Pharrell and yeah um, and he's worked with yeah Notorious B.I.G yeah, he, yeah exactly was, yeah and um, he, he the list goes on and on yeah. so we, we he's he's been in interviews where he you know they've had him talk about working with me <laughs> and he's just like uh, she's interesting <laughs> no he's, he's great no, I'm, I'm super blessed he's actually a friend of Rick's uh, my yeah, manager yeah. Rick who yeah. introduced me to, to him and yeah. he's like oh, I like her sound we gotta get her you know we I gotta sign her on for this next album yeah. and I was like yes well, you have a good point, though, because you are from the East Coast, Long yes, Island. Yes, I am. And so was that important for your sound? Did you need an East Coast? I mean, you know, you know you mean? I started out, I was very influenced by country pop growing up. Oh, because okay. uh, I, I know, it was super random. Someone I from New it. York. And oh, I, I mean, it. like, you know, Taylor Swift's early work was definitely something that I yeah. was on board with. Yeah. And uh, this is, I mean, I went through phases. Then I went through an Eminem, then a Snoop phase. I mean, I, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm all over the place with my taste. But uh, well, started out with Taylor Swift, so that's okay. kind of the influence of celebrity. Okay. I'll write a song about you and me. Oh my God, now that you, now you're saying you that, now that I'm, I can hear the influence. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, oh, that's so that's what people, in the first time it was uploaded before the you know whole thing happened, yeah. there were all sorts of comments saying, this is every Taylor Swift song. So oh, she, she, she was an influence <laughs> of me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And it, it's, but you know what? It's great because I, I think her music, especially her early stuff, was yes. was just some really, phenomenal. really it was phenomenal. Her and, songwriting um, was phenomenal. I mean, the song exactly. And she's she's an artist who um, people I know who you know who've worked with her. I've mm-hmm. never collaborated or never really talked to her um, or anything. But the people I know, I mean, I've heard she's very nice, and I've heard that she uh, is also very hands on with her work. So, um, her Freddie Mercury is another artist that same thing. You yeah. know, he's kind of known for that, and it's really cool to to uh, see that in an artist. So it's something important for me to always do. Um, but Anyway, with the song "Celebrity," it was a country pop sound, and coming from New York, you know, obviously Kenny's R and B. Yeah. Rick has dealt with country artists. He's dealt with Thompson Square. He's dealt with all sorts of different um, people. But you know, being that he's in New, you know, him being in New York, um, working his last band was the Last International, which brought okay. him into New York. So okay. he was there, and I was there, and then we ran into Kenny and all that other stuff. So being a person in New York with my taste, it was yeah. just kind of like, you know, Pop is on is in L A. So that's why I've been living in L A. Uh, back okay. and forth. So I live in okay. L A. And New York. I essentially okay. have two homes. But, like coastal, um, like that. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, you can do that now. That's why I can do where you can live wherever you want. Yeah, I mean, as long as I have good movies on the plane, I I'm down. That's what I've been doing, man. <laughs> do you have a, oh, that, like this is kind of a funny little thing. Do you have a flying routine? Because I fly a lot too. So do you have? It like, depends if they're flying me, and if it's first class, then I usually take a nap. Um, oh, okay, <laughs> and you can in first class, yes. Because I, otherwise, <laughs> and if I'm not, then I have to. Then you know, and I'm sitting up and everything. Mm-hmm. Then it's very hard for me to sleep. Yeah. Um, and even if I am in first class, sometimes I don't sleep. What I usually do is I just order a lot of cranberry juice because I have to mm-hmm. usually sing right off the plane. So that's. Oh, a, <laughs> okay, that's very interesting. Okay. Um, so, and I, if not, then I, you know, in interviews, I tend to talk a lot. I just talk a lot in general. But, so <laughs> I do too, girl. I understand. Yeah, I mean, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yes. I mean that's that's in a way it's essentially part of the job. So yes. um drinking a lot of cranberry yes. juice yes. is pretty much it. Okay. That and jamming out to uh some music. Well, that's right. My uh, my niece Haley, shout out to homegirl. Yeah. Uh, she was in Taylor Swift's uh, video for Shake It Off. She oh, was fun. The, she was the uh, black cheerleader in it. Oh nice. And so when you actually see her, you're like, Oh my gosh, my niece and Taylor she said Taylor was great. Yeah, nice, that's what nice I. Person. Yeah, yeah. I have a friend who danced with her too, and uh, he said that she's she's amazing. And also to be compared to her, why not? Yeah, I mean, it, it, in, the, in my early work, I was like, yeah. you know what? I will totally take it. Yeah. Um, and I mean, now definitely my sound is is evolved. I'm sure. Is, yeah. I mean, I am is a bit different. We introduced that Broadway bigger yes, sound, which yes. uh, Kenny got behind, and that was great. And um, it's just interesting seeing someone who's worked with a lot of R and B artists now, kind of mm-hmm. like, all right, now we're going to do pop and everything. It's I always like, say, right. I, I guess I always feel if you're a good producer, exactly, you can produce. Any genre. And I mean, he's won awards for sound engineering too. I mean, mm. he, he does, he really is, he's really hands on as well. Wow, that's great. Uh, so, how did it feel when you heard the finished product? Of, I mean, you picked the songs, you, know, you do a lot of songs, you pick the songs. Yeah. You, okay, this is going to be the album. How did it feel? Um, well, it was definitely certain songs that I really did like stronger was something that I definitely got my hands on. And, perf- you know, I think the, the real, you know, reading reviews of it is always fun, but then it, it gets real when you're at, um, not even an award show. If you're just at any kind of concert, or you know, when I was just doing the concert in um, in Agora Hills okay, and singing yeah, okay. the, 
and singing what was it? It was Guardian Angel, and everybody was starting to like just hop in on oh, the final okay. verse, and it was really crazy. And this is off the new album, yeah. so um, this show was kind of one of those moments where I'm like, oh my gosh, it's all coming together, and it's all like mm. it's really amazing. And actually, back to the song Stronger, um, one of the people who the Project Walk people, um, I'm actually the celebrity spokesperson for them, and just to mention a quick thing about them, yeah, they well, please mention them, please. yeah, yes. they're they're uh, this organization that is about, about basically uh, peop taking people who were in car accidents, whatever okay. happened, they can't use their legs, arms, whatever. Okay. And they've had experiences where doctors say you're never gonna be able to walk again, right. and then they actually have made them walk. So wow. I've heard them through a tutor of mine in high school, um, okay. you know, in school when I couldn't really, I, you know, I had, you know, he got me through literally everything in school and he yeah. couldn't walk. And I was just kind of like, this is really sad, but this Project Walk thing, he told me about that, and like, I gotta help them out. So they came to the music video set stronger because it has a lot to do with what they represent. Yeah, right. um, so tying that into everything has been really, uh, you know, and, and seeing it all come to life, especially in the music video, all snaps back to the whole, like, wow, this album really is is done, it's it's out there, and we're doing second world tour for it. This is crazy. Oh my God. <laughs> so, because you were, I think yesterday you were in Northern California, you were in Sacramento, right? I was in Sacramento yesterday, yeah. Wow, and then before that you were? And before that it was New York. Yeah. No, well, it was LA. I've been following you online. <laughs> like she's going here and there. And Beverly, yes. no, it was, well, we did a yeah. It was before that. It was LA, and then before that, it was New York. And um, I was scheduled to be in LA till February fourth, but now we're making another detour to New York to do a show, wow. uh, last minute. So that's always fun. But concerts are definitely one yeah. of my favorites because uh, uh, you totally get the you know you see the posters sometimes. Mm -hmm. You know you could you could feel it. You know what I mean? Like you could feel people screaming. God, well, I'm saying the feedback. I mean, cause, because it's you're live. It's you're like right live. Now, yeah. You're fully present i'm sure yeah and you're sharing your sound and they're receiving and they're like it. right there yeah right yeah that and that totally snaps everything into reality where it's like this is like whoa you know sometimes it just you enter it's like almost going into another uh dimension i mean sure. it's, it's hard. it depends like, when the song changes key especially yeah. for me like in my favorite parts of the song and i'll close my eyes and i'll actually like even you know people always say what's it like to do the whole anti-bullying thing and sometimes at um at concerts, and I, I sing the song "The Game," and it, and it definitely, you know, if I really get into it, and you could hear the people, like you know that they're the people there are there to see you sing, you know, and talk about anti-bullying, and I it just reminds me back when I was thirteen. So it's it's a it's a it's heavy for me at times, but yes, that's also what sure. makes it really fun. Well, how do you, so basically, it's more about you push yourself through, of course, because it's yeah. It's, it's I try heavy. to ever even yeah. if I'm tired, I'm like, you know what? This is what I love to do. <laughs> this is my thing. Let me just like have fun with it, and. Um, it's just being that I did go through a lot of, you know, being that I was bullied pretty yeah. severely, um, and whatever, whoever listens to my music now, whenever I'm on, whatever songs of mine go on the radio, whatever it is um, that I'm doing, I definitely want to uh, save people the pain that I, you yeah. know, experienced with with um, with that issue. So I feel like you are. I always believe that. I always say it's to my my fans. It takes a village to raise me, <laughs> and I feel like we we forget that we're a global village. Yeah. And but, oh, you, yeah. but what you seem like you you haven't forgotten that you're in. It. Like, <laughs> yeah, we're like, doing New Zealand yeah. is next, uh, oh, which is New Zealand and Australia, which the Kiwis is, and all them down in Aussies down there. Is that what is that the, the Kiwi, fruit the of that? Australian is Kiwi. Well, no, I mean that's the Kiwis culture. would be New Zealand. Yeah, no, yes. it's New Zealand Kiwis. I'm, <laughs> yes. that's like one of my favorite fruits. So yes. like. <laughs> Just fun fact. That's why I'm yes. going to New Zealand. No other reason. Don't go down there. I uh, know. I'm a beautiful down there. I can't. I'm I, really yeah. jealous. I uh, I'm super stoked. And um, but yeah, no. It's 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 the world tour and the international aspect of it is um, something that you know Rick is always you know my manager is always talking about when, when they were at first constructing the tour. It was his idea. You know, she has a lot of fans in the UK. She has a lot of fans oh, in wow, Australia. Okay. Let's make this you know a yeah. whole thing. And um, we were able to not only get the funding for it, but make it all pack. And you know, it, it, my fans have been really, really loyal and dedicated. Um, and London was actually one of my favorite spots because of That's just how asking. crazy That's the good. crowd was. Yeah. You know, that in Greece was. was oh, in Greece. Too. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. You, uh, never, you never know where you go with the kind of responses. I guess. It, well, yeah, Greece was great because we were. Um, that was essentially it wasn't just uh, Rick and Kenny and every. It was also the, sp the smile of the child, okay. which is a I guess part of the Greek government, or I don't know, they have this thing where they basically have homes for children who are underprivileged. Oh, and wow. um, they have like thousands of volunteers, but they were so excited to hear about my message. So going there, they, they made the experience so great because they showed us the importance of um, 
you know, they showed us what's truly important. And um, a lot of kids, even though they had little to nothing, they had a really big smile on their face because the smile of the child was there for them. Yeah. So it was one of my favorite experiences. That and, and the London, uh, when we sold out the show in London, which was Ooh, crazy. Sold out. It was sold so out. when they told you it was sold out, was it, was it, was it was euphoria, like, shock? I mean, like, what was I texted it? my mom, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm, I just told her a Snapchat. I was like, would it be cheesy to, like, Instagram this? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> I'm like, I, they're, they're like, all right, calm down. I just, you know, <laughs> but I'm losing my mind. I'm like, oh, my God. So I text my mom. I'm like, I'm sold out. She's like, I'm proud of you. I'm like, oh, my God. This is, you know. Um, but I was very excited over that. And what was even more fun was the was the reaction of, of the people in the theater. Oh my god! And it's just crazy. Yeah. It's just you know sometimes it's surreal, but it's fun. Because you're, you're thinking to yourself, I'm just Meredith. Like, yeah, I'm just, I'm just this chick I mean, who like sings, right? five years ago, <laughs> you wouldn't be smiling and cheering. <laughs> right, exactly. But you're, especially with my story, yes. it's just so weird to we're go talk, from. We're going to talk your story in a second because it's one of those things. We're going to show celebrity in, in a few moments. Um, oh, oh, a little god. bit of that. <laughs> yeah. Because because it's, it's important to know that it doesn't matter where you are. Mm-hmm. This is not the life doesn't stay the same. Exactly. It, I mean, it does get better. It does, and I didn't know that. No one was telling me that. Yeah. And if and if I was told that it was from, you know, my mom. God bless her. She's great. But at the same time, I didn't really believe it because there was no one my age appear, telling me that. Appear to tell you that. You know what I mean? And I'm, you know, when I'm when I'm their age and they're going through it and they see me and they're like, all right, well, you're proof. And like, see, that makes it all worth it for me. So I really want to keep on um, doing whatever I can to show them that it does get better. Yes. But. So let's see if we can do a little bit of celebrity. This is so like, <laughs> Look at yourself. Look at yourself. Oh, God. <laughs> so just show a little snippet of it and right. uh, get some famous. special attention. I see now I hear the Taylor Swift influence a little bit. Country. Yes. So that's so that's so that is that's the one that got you the attention. The two million views they said yeah. in two months or whatever. We, it was so bizarre. Yes. It was really weird. It was like it was I was with a different uh, producer production okay. label at the time, but it was okay. still Rick who introduced me to them. Um, yes. and it was so crazy because I mean no one knew that it would become what it did. No one knew that it would launch a world tour yeah. or another major contract or you know, it, no one knew that it would launch what it did. Yes. So basically, um, it was it was pretty cool, but yeah. <laughs> I did, it was it was not expected, and it was um, surreal. It definitely, it was part of the, part of my story. Um, yes. It, Sometimes it's okay to look back a little bit, just kind of see where you came yeah, from. You're like, oh my god, but you know, I it's trust, like, trust me, I got pictures I don't look at either. I'm back in the day. <laughs> Um, but yes, but you go, but you it reminds you of where you came from. Well, how Facebook far you existed come. when I was thirteen, so if we want to talk about regretting, I'll think. Yeah, you, see, I lucked out. There's some little things that are yeah. Not <laughs> like MySpace, maybe, but there wasn't that. Yeah. Um, but no, but it just it's good to know where you come from that you that you have moved forward, and yes. that we all can. And that's so that's you're the example yeah. where we can you can just continue forward. I want to talk about the bullying. Yeah. We, we brought it up because yeah. the thing about you that I also really like is that you have meshed together entertainment. With an important, with importance, with advocacy. Thank you. So which is much. something that I think that wish more people, more people would do. Well, but, that's yeah. actually part of why I, I did it. Um, I didn't really have a role model bes- that was around. That was a teenager. Yeah, I don't think so. Doing a, stuff like that, not to when, when I was nine years old or ten. Yeah. And, I, and basically, being the role model that I didn't have is is some is a major, um, I guess, mantra that I stick to. And the reasoning is is because I, you know, like I said, there was just a lot of things that I wish I had known growing up, but. The way the reason I tie anti bullying into it and everything is I feel like whatever and, and it was actually my manager who, who kinda said, If you have a following, this is after celebrity blew up because okay. celebrity didn't really have to do with it. I, I was too afraid to talk about the fact that I was being oh, bullied. Okay. Because part of my story is the reason I didn't tell anyone is because I blamed myself. You know what which I mean? We, which we do. And which we we do. It's almost like in a you know, you're you're a victim of this situation where you start to get the mentality that like, oh my gosh, I really am this ugly, terrible person right. that they say I am, you know. Right. So why am I gonna tell if it's true, right. you know, and right. and it's as sad as as, and I see it all the time, you know, especially in fan mail everywhere, where these, you know, and sometimes I, on Instagram too or Facebook, I'll check their profiles every now and then, and, yeah. I, and I say this, like, you know, every now and then I do I do creep on your bios, whatever. And this <laughs> girl wrote to me who was a model with Ford, and she's telling me how ugly they're all calling her. So it's like you believe it's true, you're not going to talk about it, and you're afraid, but that's so silly. And um, I feel like if I ever have any, you know, anyone who listens to my music, any. Uh, Leverage I have or influence I have, I, I want to use it um, for good. And yeah. um, I have I have a, a, a mantra myself that is: uh, you're supposed to hear to share knowledge, lift each other up, and pay it forward. You're doing yeah. all three things. <laughs> well, thank you. you. And it's, it's, it's amazing. 
It's just the whole thing was surreal, though, uh, when Celebrity came out, um, because it was just a lot of, it went from me being, and this was, I was a junior in high school, and okay. when this blows three years ago, yeah. and it went from me being disliked to now, I was kind of, you know, it was it was just very surreal. My best friend, Ari, to this day, we always, you know, because she was my friend regardless of how yes. cool I was or whatever. We need those, we always need those in our lives. Exactly, and to this day, no matter who's in my circle, no yeah. matter which label, no matter, you know, pretty, it's, yeah. it's always, I know that she's real, you know what I mean? I know I could keep it real with her. Keep so. her along, keep her, keep her. Oh, I, I definitely yes. do, I just brought her to um, the, to the, Album launch, oh, okay. and, which is really fun, and she's yeah. she's she's having a great time with. But she's very happy about. Um, she's in college right now, studying to be a nurse. But anyway, Good shout girl. out to her. She's she's awesome. Um, long story short, it was just really it was a weird, bizarre experience. I'm sure because you're because you're going from being bullied yeah. <laughs> to like, just like to now all of a sudden people are like, oh my god, how are yeah. you? Oh there my god, one girl I love who your song. She invited us to it was like a sweet sixteen or something, and. Um, it was the same person that was making fun of my clothes the week before. It was just, it was weird. And me and Ari were like, what? But you saw through it, didn't you? You, oh, yeah, you yeah. knew it was like, okay, you only like it because now yeah, I'm you're, a, you're you're a celebrity. So internet so famous, now yes. you're going to be nice. But yes. um, the other thing was, uh, yeah, it, it, it was a lot of that. But at the same time, it, it it's important to make sure that um, I, whatever leverage I had, I was using to, you know, tell people things that I wish that I knew. <laughs> what are some of the things that you tell people who are being bullied? Well, a, the main thing I say is that you're not alone. A lot of times we do feel like we're alone when we yeah, go through a true. hard time, that it gets better. And mm. um, also that I, I like to, you know, just give them examples of, you know, if, if a girl writes to me or talks to me at a meet and greet, and, and at my meet and greets I try to have as much time with the fans as okay. possible. Um, mm -hmm. If a girl says, or a guy, you know, they're making fun of my appearance and I believe it, I like to always use examples of, you know, myself of people who um, are in the modeling industry, friends of mine who model who are also bullied, and it just try to basically say as, as an overall message, whatever they're making fun of you for is not because you deserved it, and it's not because it's mm. true, it's because they're messed up, not you. And um, those are the things that I wish I knew, so being able to say it and you know seeing the difference in them is, is my favorite part of, of my work. That's, that's, I mean, that's, you guys out there, that's such good advice to give people because it's the same thing I'm saying, and then you basically you learn to kind of forgive them. And exactly, and, and yeah. the other thing is that, you know, in the whole song, Just the Thing, we mm. had, um, which was on Teen Nick and everything, and that, that was honestly that was good. really, you saw that, okay. Yeah. Just the thing, the other message I want to teach people, fans, yes. students, everywhere, yes. kids, Everyone. Yes. everybody, yes. Uh, is that if you're different, don't be embarrassed. Don't hate yourself for it. Don't wish you were perfect and don't try to fit in. Be happy and feel lucky that you're different because that's what's going to make you successful. And There's no such thing as perfection anyway. Exactly. And, and there's really no isn't. such thing as normal, which is actually no. what the message behind the music video Just the Thing was. Mm -hmm. There is no normal. Exactly. I wouldn't want to be normal. I know, right? Yeah, I'll be normal. <laughs> and besides, if you're normal, I mean, the things that make you weird, which is literally exactly what the song was about. So that's yeah. actually probably my favorite song that I've written because oh, it's just hi, about okay. how um, it really is saying everything I want my fans to know. Like, I, you know, a lot of us are insecure because we're, you know, like, oh, I'm too tall, I'm too short, whatever. That's what makes you you, though. That's mm -hmm. why you're awesome. So mm -hmm. don't try to change, you know. Could you imagine if we were all just ourselves, like truly ourselves, <sighs> yeah. how great this world would be? That would be pretty good. And I, and it would be very, 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 uh, it would make it a lot easier for people and a lot easier, and people would succeed a lot further than, than they thought they could. And um, They wouldn't be second-guessing themselves or stopping themselves. Yeah. I did an interview today when we were saying how some people, they go to a certain point, then they get scared, they stop. Yeah. It's so not it's, fear. It's, it's pretty much, yeah, it's, it, I, I know what you mean. But you know what I mean? definitely, so yeah. if you I mean, if you could learn to like to love yourself or believe in yourself, you won't stop. You'll just, you'll keep going. Exactly. Exactly. And um, you know, the things that make you different, uh, you know, include another example I'd love to get to drop is Bill Gates, you know, in interviews oh, yeah. too, he always talks about he was bullied. And, you know, if he let them you know, if he tried to stop being a nerd, he wouldn't be one of the richest people today. Mm -hmm. So it's just kind of like, those are the things that we got to keep at, you know, and those are the mm -hmm. things, the things, you know, if you are the, the you know, person who always is drawing, if you are that nerdy person who's never off the computer, like, that's your thing, go mm -hmm. with it. Like, and, you know, for me, it was, I was bad at sports, but I could sing. <laughs> oh, terrible. Yes. I got my nose broken because I was oh really God. bad. Oh my God. We're gonna show, um, you did like a 30 second clip for Beyond Bullies. Oh, yeah, 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 the, yes. with Champions Against Bullying. Yeah, so we're going to show that clip because it's, it's kind of fun. Okay, it's, it's sure, yeah. Just married the comp. If you know what bullying is, then you can help solve it. And that's why Beyond Bullies is having a video competition. Show that you're against bullying by submitting a video of yourself that helps solve the bullying problem. You can also buy stickers to help other people know that they're not alone. 
For more information, or if you ever need help with bullying, want to buy stickers or submit to the competition, you can go on beyondbullies.org. That's Thanks, great. Thanks, guys. <laughs> That's really good. That's a, such a, a great thing. And, they, and your, your song was played. Oh, with so. just the thing when they yeah, edited yeah, that together. Yeah, that's, like, yeah. that's good. I, thought, I saw that. I was like, oh, that's very cute. <laughs> like, you, now that I, I know, know you, like, you like you sell yourself. Ch- oh, yeah. It wasn't even like a... I mean, no, I didn't even know they still had that on the channel. Yeah, still still on there. See? But, um, yeah, no, they, they they emailed us. They were like, oh, we got the, you know, video. But and see, it was all funny. Stations. I saw it. I mean, I'm not bullying. I'm seeing it. Just think people who are still seeing it. Yeah, I know. Time, I was like, uh, see, I don't monitor. The only one yeah. I truly monitor is the Instagram account. Yeah. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, That's video competitions are, are really important. I'm working with Directing Change as well right now. Okay, they have and a contest. They're for mental health. Oh, for mental health, okay. Um, they basically go into schools, and if you are going through a hard time, you just kind of film a video. Or not even that, if you just want to um, make a video that kind of sets an example for your peers, you submit it to them, and if you get you know, sub- selected for this contest, you get to come to this red carpet award show with oh, me, wow. a bunch of other industry people from Disney and everything else. Oh, and, wow. You know, we hang out, we do, you know, we meet them, do autographs and everything, and uh, it's really, really, really fun. Um, and it's so great. I went to the award show last time. I was um, one of the the guest judges alongside the producer of Glee, okay. Lord of the Rings, oh, and wow. a bunch okay. of other people. It was really fun. And um, we were, it was weird, because I was like the youngest, I was like this little kid here. I was like, you know, we're the adults. I'm yeah, like, right. yeah, like this film, you know, but anyway, um, I, you know, it was, it was brought me to tears regardless, because I was someone who um, was... In, in when I was 13 and I had anxiety and you know it, and all these things were brought about me I didn't really have the the support system of peers and friends to say like hey you know if you're having anxiety you should talk to someone you should do this you should see help it's okay you're not alone you're not weird there's something wrong with you you just need to get help so back then you didn't I didn't have that what I had instead was like you're different and ostracizing which kind of made me feel even worse mm-hmm. so now I see these new kids you know like you, yeah. you, you know, I'm 19 now but now seeing you know people who are you know entering their teens it's yes. just kind of like and now here they are making videos about helping each other because of directing change so i talked to my manager i'm like i gotta get behind this i gotta help them however i can so, so. something you found you, you, you ran across um, it and then, no actually but, they invited us to the award show oh, okay and okay. I, i'm not even sure I, uh, my manager was talking to them a while okay. ago and as soon as i went to the award show i was like we need to you know, really, I want to do whatever I can to help. It sounds like you and your manager really work well together. Oh, well, he's been my manager for like three years now. So yeah. I've had like three different labels, but it's been the same manager because he was before my music uh, really took off or anything. Mm-hmm. He had he had managed a bunch of other bands, but he was like, oh, no, I'm looking for a new pop artist. And I was like, oh, I could totally do it. And I had never <laughs> written a song in my life, but I was a singer. And I, this time I was modeling, actually. Yes. He was directing, um, uh, he's directing actually the New York Fashion Week show again okay. this year. He was doing one with Susan G. Komen and the Carol Gunn oh, Foundation. Oh, yeah, I know that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the Carol Galvin Foundation is the thing he ran, so I was a model for that just before I got signed. And he was just like, oh, yeah, if you're interested, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he introduced me to the producer. I wrote the song Celebrity in like a week. Wow. Or if you, I just went home that night, literally started brainstorming wow. stuff. And um, they liked it over at the at the first people I was signed to, at the first producers. So they put it out, and that's how that happened. So it was cool yeah. to have somebody that even before anything, you know, and it's it's always good to have people in your corner that you trust. Very true people. Very true. Now, this chick is tall, too. Just want you to say about that. You are I'm tall. sitting. You can't tell. You so. can't tell. Because I mean, I'm wearing heels, too. And I'm like, we both were kind of tall. Oh, you're trying, to, you're trying to do the... Yeah. I was like, trying to work it out. All right. All right. Well, you know, I'm a bit unfair here. Cause yeah, I know. Here. Yes. Um, <laughs> now, okay. So, so you did a little bit of modeling. How was that for you? I what? You just some modeling for some shows. Oh yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So I mean, the modeling was, was was interesting. I got scouted from um, doing what I what I truly, truly began loving, which was theater companies. Yeah. Um, an agent from MMG was like, "Hey, if you want to model," and I'm like, "Yes!" Like I, this was so totally random. Okay. And, and this is at the time, mind you, when I was being called ugly. Yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, and right. even when I was modeling, like I would be in a Paul Mitchell campaign, and like there would oh be all God. sorts of different. You know, there's this Lord and Taylor. Actually, it was. Um, I was. It was the year before my prom, and there was a prom campaign, and and it, it, people were you know giving me a hard time over that too. So it was just strange how, even though, um, even though I wasn't this hideous, terrible person, no, no, that I was, you know right. what I mean? Yeah. It's just that didn't matter. So anyway, it's just interesting that that ties into the story. And uh, modeling was was a weird experience because I would go to school, be called ugly, then go to work and be called pretty. And I'm oh, like, which one is it? Wow, interesting. <laughs> um, and yeah, the, I mean, all the pressure. But but at the same time, it was fun. It got it got me to meet um, the people that launched my career in, yeah. in music. So I'm totally grateful for it. And um, I guess that's one of the benefits of, of being in New York. Mm-hmm. It was it was kind of just weird how it all happened. Yeah. No. <laughs> So who have you met that has just blown you away since you've come into this uh, industry? 
Anybody? Who, like maybe it could be a celebrity or somebody. Yeah. Um. Well, who have I met that I really liked? Um. Well, some people that I really. Uh, okay. Well. Okay. So one person that. Uh, well, Garrett Clayton is a good person who, okay. who's very against anti-bullying. He's um, really about the message of you know overcoming any kind of strength mm -hmm. and um, kind of you know working with him. Um, Luke Billick also is another person okay. who's he's really cool about the whole thing and he's really um, he's really strong on the whole message behind it because he really does think mm -hmm. that it's important to you know when when we were doing the music video just the thing. Yeah. Uh, we both agreed like this is something that we really want to uh, yeah, okay, get out there, yeah. and um, so those are some people that are. And Snoop Dogg's very nice. Met him. Oh, really funny! You met, <laughs> I'm not met Snoop Dogg. It's crazy. Okay, really? <laughs> yeah, but that was just like we Uncle met Snoop. for like five seconds. Yeah, Uncle <laughs> Snoop, right? And uh, it was an after party. It was just like That's really so quick. But funny. I, I, I totally. I mean, I went through my Snoop Dogg <laughs> I'm phase. I'm sure I'm we like, all oh, did. Right? Is, yeah. I mean, yeah. come on. Yes. Um, <laughs> so, and then what else? What, uh, who else is really super influential? I think. I mean, working with um, Kenny Ortiz yeah. and and you know. Rick Galvin, you know, having people that really know the industry and have really guided me in the right way has been, um, they've been totally You bring a good helpful. point up of just make sure you align yourself with people that you who trust, are yeah. trust and are like-minded. Yeah, I mean, we've purpose. all had those experiences, like, I mean, especially my early career where you come across, you know, and it's like, oh, I thought that you were on my team, thought we were, you were pushing, and then it's just like, wait, no, we just wanted to, you know. Get Which happens, you know, right? and that's part of it, yeah, you know. Part of it. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times, when when it comes to giving advice to like you know fans, fans who want to do music, or whatever, you know, and it's always about you know be careful, be very protective, and mm -hmm. especially when you do get any kind of discovered yes. or whatever, then you have to be even more careful. You do. Um, so it's, it, but I, I'm very very blessed to have people that I could trust and people who know the industry. So like you know, it's not like. Um, it's something that's that's super valuable. You come across as a person who's not in it just for the fame and the fortune, right? I I'm somebody who um, I definitely am. You know, once it once it happened, once I did get recognition, mm. I you know I was somebody who who was upset with what people did with recognition. Mm. So when I the, you know, and I didn't know what would happen with me. I just yeah. kind of wanted to sing. I yeah. mean, Broadway was my background. But once right. I did get recognition, it was kind of like now's my chance to to. Do what I wish pe other people have done. It's a like conscious decision. Exactly. Right. Exactly. So that's kind of what. Um, that's why the anti-bullying movement is is so yeah. important. And um, it's. I did grow up with a lot of insecurities and things mm -hmm. that I didn't need to feel. So I kind of want to save people from that. You're um, like you're just like wise beyond your years. <laughs> I wish I had half of your like oh, brain my power. Gosh. Ten years ago, <laughs> I was like you. You're just like you are. Just I mean, are just amazing. Well, thank great. you, thank you. And it's very just much. again, you're, you're giving me hope and everything. Oh, uh, well, thank you. You are directing changes. I had that moment when I was at the award show. I'm like, this is so cool. Um, I love it. So I'm, I'm. It's always good to see, you know, organizations like that. And okay, I always like to tell people they can have, you know, speak things into existence. Are there any singers out there you would love to duet with? Say any it out loud. Singers that I would love to duet with. It could totally happen. All right, let's see. Um, this is always a tough question. I've gotten this question yes. asked before, and I always get like, oh, I don't know, because I. But I, I love that you have a very musical taste. So I'm really curious to see. Who well, Freddie is. Mercury, but he's not. He let him. Come on, bring Freddie Mercury back. Oh, All right. right. Uh, listen, I'll, I'll talk to Kenny about. Be like, listen, I know, you know, I don't know if you've ever worked with him, and I know he's not alive anymore. But maybe <laughs> if you could pull some strings. Yeah, I'll right? well, well, like, well, like find some <laughs> footage or some some stuff that he had. That hologram thing is, you know, that's yes. that's starting to come around. So um, <laughs> I would have to say, um, I mean, doing a show with Taylor Swift would be really cool. Yes. Um, Taylor, but, T Swift. T Swift, that yes. would be pretty fun. Um, who's who do I love to collab? I, I, I'm gonna have to say I, I, those are my two answers okay. right now. It's That's super good. lame. I'm gonna have to come up because I always get this question yes. asked, and I'm always like, so many, I, I name artists that aren't alive anymore. So I, I gotta get better at that question. <laughs> 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 well, what's what's playing in your? I don't know. I don't even know what they do anymore. Uh, there oh. are iPods or see like oh, who's God. playing? Who you listening to right now? That you that is really. Um, yeah. Oh geez, I'm listening to to Eminem right now. Oh, you really? Okay, <laughs> yeah. you're going through it. You're going through it. I'm going through Eminem. What album right now are you listening to? I'm listening to. Um, well, I'm listening to the song Legacy actually oh, right now. Okay, it's it's a pretty good song. I think yeah. It's pretty cool. I also liked uh, Snoop Dogg's Doggy Style. Yes, old school. Uh, I like that, Tupac. I mean, I like. I'm going through my '90s rap phase right yeah, now. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good time period. Do you play um, songs to get yourself pumped up for shows, or do yes. you just you do? So you oh, do. absolutely. Okay. I do play. Um, I had my dancers all know that I listen to hard heavy metal sometimes. Oh, I hey, went through a metal head. I love it. Avenged uh, Sevenfold. Oh, that's a. Great well, I too. can't say that. I can't. Uh, Avenged Sevenfold. Say whatever you want. <laughs> Avenged Sevenfold. Uh, five Finger Death Punch. I've seen both the concert. They're good. Oh my gosh. I've seen both the concert. 
Oh my god, I was asked to go to a, okay, I was asked to see an Avenged Sevenfold concert yes. with a friend of mine in New York and I was just like, yes, but then I had a show that day. I was like, no. no it was a, <laughs> my actually, career got in the way. No, yes. I ended up having to be in LA. Yeah. It was really yeah. so but it was a long time in advance. It was like, yeah, this fall we're totally going. And uh I was so stoked, but I'm so jealous of you. I was I was an oh old metalhead in the eighties. I used to go I mean I used to hang out really? on Sunset Street. Oh yeah. My sister and I no. used to go. We used to do Warrant and Rat and all that. We were just like No way. Yeah, very, oh very man. So, I missed the Motley Crew tour that just came through. I missed it. I was out of town. And I was so pissed. That's crazy. But I saw them back in the 80s. But well, I wish I had saw them. So. Five Finger Death Punch is, is a good, uh, I'm about the to go on stage. The lead singer's the bomb. He's, he's so good. Oh my gosh. Did he's you hear so the House of the Rising Sun cover? Yeah. You did? Yeah, I have heard it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's, it's really he's good. He's amazing. He's and amazing. it's like that song's so good. You're going to, like, how do you match up to it? But right. I think. Uh, so I think it's really cool uh, to, to jam out to that, especially like Eminem's survival, just like right before, because you know there's going to be a bunch oh, yes. of scary people. just yes. like, yeah, you know, it, it gets really, like, I like angry music. It is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're such a friendly person. I'm I weird. I know. Like, I'm a very strange person. I love it. I, I love that. that out. Um, so, <laughs> what? Is, so, what would you like to say to your fans? Because our time is almost up, and it's, yeah. I, I need you to come back like ten times. Yeah, well, I talk. A, we both talk a lot. That's that's yes, our thing. I know. Um, like, this is crazy. So, what would you like to say to them? I would like to say, stay tuned for uh, a lot of new stuff. There's going to be some surprises down the run, including um, what is the studio called? <laughs> Lake. Lake Edge Productions. Okay. Sorry. Um, okay. The yes. studio called Lake Edge Productions <laughs> has picked us up for um, a for a movie contract. Oh, based good. On, okay. uh, Lake Edge Productions has done previous films in the past. I, okay. I don't have all the proper okay. information Sorry. in front okay. of me, but they're right now okay. working on a film um, and about pretty much embracing who you are and then wow. they picked me up for a new film after that so I'm very excited oh, too. So good. Um, and also in, in, in addition to that the New Zealand Australia tour wrapping up the IM yeah. World Tour which is going to be super crazy and I'm very excited for that. In all seriousness please continue continue you're doing yeah. so, I'm thank very you. honored that you're doing that you're doing this stuff it's, it's just amazing. Well I'm yeah I'm, I mean it's thank you so much it's it gets surreal and then I always have to you know uh, remind myself how much much fun it is and it really is um I'm, I'm definitely blessed, and uh, I would never do anything that um, I wouldn't want a 13-year-old version of myself to see, <laughs> to not see. Uh, so on a day like this to do, or celebrate Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday, you're like living the dream. You're, you're doing, oh, you're doing. Yeah, it. well, thanks to him. I mean, he's he's definitely was somebody who's about you know, it doesn't matter what you look like, who you are. Doesn't matter if you have something you want to do, go for it and do, do it. it. So in yeah. honor of Martin Luther King, and he definitely also is a big inspiration of mine. Yeah, um, yeah. I think that's a great point. Yeah, you're doing it, girl. So, where can folks find you? Uh, people can find me at um, Instagram, Meredith O'Connor. It's just my name. It is M E R E D I T H O C O N N O R. Twitter, Meredith Tur. Facebook, Meredith O'Connor. YouTube, I think, is Meredith O'Connor. It is. It, all, it, all it is. is. Okay, cool. I have it all and, like it is. It yeah, is. it's all pretty much my name except for Twitter. <laughs> yes. And, whoops, um, and Instagram, I handle myself. So if uh, any fans, when fans message me, I try to get to as many as possible. Yeah. And when I do respond, it's actually me responding. We'll see, folks. <laughs> that's good. Thank I try. I'm gonna always try to, you know, I try to keep it that way as hard as it is, but it's yes. important to me. That's good. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. And everybody out there, you can also follow more about her. I'm gonna have her on my Facebook page, James Lott Jr. On my Twitter page, Black Hope LA. We'll be following her, and I'll be promoting posting stuff of yours. Awesome. We're gonna continue to, to do this. And thank you so much for watching. Um, subscribe to our page on AfterBuzz TV. We have other shows also. We have other spotlight ons and concert experiences. You can find those. I did a few others, so you can find me too. Thank you so much. And we'll see you next time. From executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. I met you, I'm like, I can talk to you for like the next 10 hours. The views expressed herein are those of the host only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.